Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, uh, sorry again about the cold, picked it up from Guardian Con, so it sounded really nasally and disgusting, but I'm gonna forge ahead and uh, here we go. In this video, I want to basically talk about this, this idea, what, ask the question, we'll pose the question, which super is the king of all supers in PvP? Uh, right now. I feel like most people will probably gravitate towards the claim that Bottom Tree Striker is the um, is the current king of supers in PvP. And I think that that's a really solid choice. I actually, I put it at number two. And I know that it's got an obscene duration. I know that it gets energy, a super energy back on kill. I know that it gets healing on kill. And uh, undoubtedly, it is borderline broken, if not obnoxiously so. But I'm actually going to say, to be completely honest, and this isn't just to be, you know, against the grain. This is my genuine, I genuinely believe this. I think that Bottom Tree Dawnblade is a stronger super in PvP than Bottom Tree Striker. And there's a few reasons for that. I'll get into it here in this video. But the very first thing that this super has going for it is its speed. So undeniably it's speed. I don't know if you remember the go fast update that we had in year one, but it was in that update that Dawnblade got this speed buff that whenever you activate your glide jump ability while you're in your super, you, I mean, you book it. You just start flying across the map at obscene speeds. It is super fun to play with. Absolutely uh, a pleasure to play with uh, because of that. And uh, also, obviously, well, actually, no, I won't get into that yet. I'll get into that next. Anyways, the speed, right? With the speed that you get, the speed boost, you can close gaps so quickly. You can close gaps so quickly with this. No matter where they are, if they're hard scoping you from Africa, you're like, I can get there in less than two seconds. I mean, I'm going to be on that man, which is fantastic. You can get, you know, to multiple points of interest in a single super usage. So... And you can go to a uh, flag, right? I'm going to boost over to B flag, clear that off. Then I'm going to boost over to the spawn. And the same guys that I just killed at B, I'm going to kill in their spawn as well. Like, you can hit multiple points of interest due to the speed uh, of this super. Not only that, but because of the speed of the super, it makes you harder to hit, right? You're not just some big lumbering uh, target. I mean, you're just zipping around. So it can be difficult for people to track your movement and to... Uh, get good consecutive shots on you to take you out of your super. Now, compare this to the striker. Just talking about the speed right now, the speed of the super, nothing else. But when we're considering the speed, striker is, it's a little bit more of a, a lumbering, boots on the ground kind of super. So you just kind of clunk, 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 clunk. He's running around, right? And which is super intimidating, but it's not necessarily the best thing for closing gaps or hitting multiple points of interest and saving energy. You know, you can close gaps on individual players who turn their back and run away from you uh, in your striker super. You can close those gaps by doing lunge, 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 right? But every time you lunge, you're taking up super energy. And, you know, for like four lunges, it would take you to catch up to a guy. All you have to do is activate your glide ability on Dawnblade, and you close that gap in just a single button push. Not only that, but you did it without using any super energy whatsoever. No super energy at all was used to track that guy down. The next thing that the super has going for it is that it is a three-dimensional threat. That's right, up, down, sideways, doesn't matter where your opponent is. If you can see him, you can kill him. So you can attack wherever you can look. And compare that to the striker lunge. The striker lunge, a lot of people know that if you use your verticality, if you jump up over their heads, it's hard for them to track you because the tracking of the lunge only takes you more so, you know, more or less horizontally. Okay, so wherever the striker is, he can lunge and do a tracking lunge, right? Basically, just any horizontal direction around him. But it's up and down where he struggles where he will lunge underneath you or over your head, depending on where you are in relation to the striker. Um, so obviously that's a bit of an advantage when it comes to the Dawnblade. Dawnblade doesn't matter if you're up above him or down below him, doesn't matter if he can see you, he can kill you. The striker is a little bit more tricky in that regard. And sometimes you get shut down out of your striker super because somebody is using their vertical space, they've got another teammate that's pegging you, but you're just trying to get the guy that's above you so you're taking damage from him, and the guy that's above you puts a shotgun on top of your head and punches you, and between the two, you're dead. 
and that would usually doesn't happen on Dawnblade because the guy above you, he would have been dead already and you would have been out of there. The third thing that this super has going for it is the energy regeneration, right? And this is about the same as the striker. I think the striker gets a little bit more energy back than, than you do on kill and Dawnblade, but the fact still remains. You get energy back into your active super for every kill you get extending its duration. So that means that sometimes, even in this video, sometimes you are getting seven, eight, nine kills with a single super and that is ridiculous. That's absolutely insane to get that many kills with one super usage. And guys, this is not like a rare thing. It's not a rare thing. It's actually, if you're using your, your super well, if you're pretty used to using this super, it is not uncommon at all to get a full team wipe six, seven, eight, nine kills with this super. In fact, um, I've got a se I mean, I've got a seventh column on this super. It's not in this video, but it was in a previous video. A seven column on this super, and it wasn't even hard, right? It was just kind of like, oh, seven column, okay. I'm just chucking swords, and that leads me to the next thing. The tracking, you're just chucking swords. The tracking is insane. The tracking on this super is absolutely bonkers. It's got like a, not only that, but the tracking and the hitbox. Like, you can just throw that sword anywhere within a five feet radius of your target, and it'll detonate, and it'll kill him. And the tracking is just ridiculous. I... There's a clip in here on Javelin 4 where my last sword that I throw, I throw it at a guy going up the stairs, down a hallway, and around a box. And I throw that sword, and it curves to the hallway, and then it curves over the box, and then dips down on the other side of the box and hits the guy. And I remember seeing it when it happened. I was like, did that just happen? I would be mad. <laughs> like, I would be livid if I was that guy. The tracking is just, it's a little over the top. It's insane. So it's not even hard to use whatsoever. So all of these things come together, in my opinion, to make it the king of all supers in Destiny 2 PvP. I think the striker comes close, but this one just edges it out. And uh, I would be interested to hear what you guys think. What do you think is the king of all supers? What would? Here's a good thing for the comment section. Top three. Give me your top three in order. Of, uh, number one being the best to the third best. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.